Football is definitely at the forefront of concussions right now involving the NFL and, and, the, and the players. But what they're finding is this, it's not just at the adult level of the NFL, but the way that they're dealing with um, youth football is actually becoming an issue. And they've actually started some, some programs to address that now. But they're, they're full pads at the age of eight and nine, you know, hitting each other. And when you're hitting each other that hard with that amount of force, you know, practice after practice after practice, these aren't just little things. And, and most players that I've talked to said that they saw stars and they had little dingers and, you know, little things ever since they're a little, but because they loved the game so much, they just, you know, kind of brushed it off and kept going forward and going forward. And then they get into college and they get more dingers and they go forward with that. And then they, they enter the NFL and they get more head injuries. And, and they, most of these players that we talk to talk about having two to 500 concussions. And it's not just the, the concussions that knock you out. It's, it's the little, you know, I saw stars or I saw little birds around my head. It's, it's a big deal in football that's it's being addressed now, but there's a lot of people that are suffering the consequences of football because if you look at how many youth are playing football, how many high school kids are playing football, how many college kids are playing football, there's a lot of people that have had head injuries.